Hello everyone and today I am going to show you how to install LLVM compiler infrastructure using pre-compiled binaries. So you can find this in the medium post um, and um, search by maybe LLVM compiler infrastructure using pre-compiled binaries. So this method is more straightforward and take less time to install and it's very easy to install. First thing first, you need to go to the official release website. So I have a link here, official release, but you can even go to Google and search uh, uh, LLVM compiler and you will find a download links. Uh, since I have the link, I can just click there and look into this um, page called releases. So there are uh, some uh, LLVM 16, you look at that and um, check your uh, com operating system, which operating system that you would like to install. If you are using Apple, maybe you can try using this ARM64 Apple Darwin. Um, or if you want to compile from source, you can download uh, some of these. But uh, currently, I, what I'm going to show you is to um, install using pre-compiled binaries. So look, uh, look for Ubuntu, since I'm using Ubuntu here. So I'm going to look for the Ubuntu um, binaries. So it looks like in the 16, there is no pre-compiled binaries up here. So, okay. So let's look at the 16 RC3. Uh, RC3 with there, this is power PC. Um, this is not for my machine. So here itself is not there at all. So maybe I think I'll look for the stable release. So this is the LVM 15.0.7. And um, here too, there is no compatible one. And maybe I'll look for this guy. This guy, yes. So this is the, this is the uh, binary that is compatible with my machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, click on that, right click it and copy the link. And uh, I have a folder called temp here. You can create a folder in your home directory. And what I can do is I can just use a duplicate and copy it, right? So this will take some time. It will basically download the pre-compiled binary from the internet and um, uh, store it in the folder temp. It will take some time depending on your internet speed. So for me, maybe a couple of minutes. So let's look at that. So first thing uh, that you also need to do is to look for um, what operating system that you are currently um, working on. So if you have a Linux operating system, you can simply uh, do this command cat etc os release. So I can click new tab and paste this command over here. And for me, it is Ubuntu version 20 and, um, and other stuff, right? So yeah, it is comparable for for this uh, for this particular uh, binary. Okay, so I think it's almost done uh, under a few minutes. Okay, so okay, so this step is basically downloading that binaries, and once you're done with that, you can. Um, okay, so another thing is I usually install my binary in a folder called opt so you can go to opt and there is a folder called llvm if there is uh, of course uh, for the first time installation you may need to do a make their um, opt and llvm once you have that done you can um, basically um, sudo the uh, you move this file basically this full file so let's look at the status yeah this is done so you move this file to that location right so this will problem for a password since it is um there's a place where you need a sudo so you can give a password and then you move it there so once it's done you go there and um, look for the uh, file name xz so here we have the file name exe and then you can do a tar xvf and do the instruction right so this once you hit this one of course here you also need to do a sudo and you hit enter uh, and uh, this will extract this um, the binary into this folder right 
so i've done this so i'll look into that folder uh, so this is the binary uh, this is the folder you, that you have and where are we we are here and you can go ahead and just uh, remove the uh, the tar file right so that's it okay so next step is very important because uh, you need to modify the environment variable. So what you do is you go to sudo. Again, you have to do a sudo in your bash rc. Basically, you are, um, uh, I'm using beam. Um, ah. Can I do nvim? Yeah. So, uh, you can use vim you can use vi but i'm having nvim installed in my system so i'm opening it using nvim and what you should do is basically adding few lines that is this part of the line so you add this line basically this line export lvm directory and this is the part where you uh, download the file and you copy it to your op llvm so this is the location of the llvm Next is you need this LLVM configs. This is important later on. We will see that uh, maybe in few uh, videos. And finally, you export the part uh, to that LLVM directory. So that's it. So this is three line you add in your bash RC file. Save it, right? So you need to save it using WQ. And once you save it, you can use this uh, source command to, to refresh the, uh, to make all those variable available to you. So you source, hit enter, that's done. So once that's done, you first need to check whether you successfully install LLVM and Clank in your system. To do that, you can do Clang version. And here I have the Clang 15 version. And secondly is the LLVM config version. So there we go. You successfully install LLVM using pre-compiled binary. Thank you very much.